Hey everyone, it's Willis from White Rabbit Comics. It's a uh, not so great day outside, so it's a great day to be inside reading some comics, and that's what I was doing. And I came across another small independent book from JB Comics called One Armed Bandit. It's it's really a good read, but I have to warn you, there's a lot going on in this book. Uh, great cover artwork on the inside is awesome but one thing I want to let you know the very important thing is while there's a lot going on on the inside they obviously can't get to everything in such a short book and when I mean short book I mean it's about 26 28 pages so I want to direct you to the back of the book so the back of the book there's a little synopsis of what's going on uh, very important to read through uh, the synopsis in the back because it covers a lot more information than you're going to get on the inside. The inside from front cover to back cover, cover to cover, it's non-stop action, sci-fi, greatness. Uh, this is not an all-ages book. I would say this a little, little bit more mature reader, so I would give it a hair rating if you're following my rabbit reader rating. Uh, so that means, you know, I there's some violence there's no language there's no blood there's no excess of anything but i think while uh uh julius the 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 writer and creator of one iron bandit would probably say it's an all ages book i think there's just a little bit too much sophisticated writing uh which is a benefit to the the, the writer and creator uh julius blair uh that he's able to put so much in it so I think that's the only thing that for me pushes it more into a mature reading now the book itself is very sci-fi again there's a lot going on uh, from the moment you get into the book to the moment that you're done uh, some of the space things feel a little Guardian of the Galaxy ish if you're one of those uh, the the main character only has one arm that's why he's called the one armed bandit and uh, some things happened to him when he was younger that the the back of the book and that's why i'm saying the back of the book that back cover uh is very important that you read that as you you go before you even get into the book um there's another character made me feel a little i had a a, a void vibe if you remember the old um wildcats from image comics and later bought out wildstorm and dc and all that but if you remember the original void uh, I got a little bit of vibe that from her. The text that they go against gave me a Robotech vibe to it. Uh, the main character himself, the the one-armed bandit, um, he, uh, while they didn't like delve into his character much in the first issue, and there is only one issue out right now. Uh, I think the Kickstarter just finished uh, January of 2021. Um, but the, the main character himself, he's out trying to get revenge for somebody that destroyed his life as a kid. Now, <clears throat> there's also another side to him that looks like it's trying to take over. So that gave me a little bit of a Venom vibe. Uh, but I think it, it's not so much like it's a parasite like Venom was. It's a little bit more, I want to say, he's got a dark entity inside him that uh, reminded me a little bit about the the 70s Moon Knight, if you will, where he uh, had the split personality, which I loved, the original 70s uh, Moon Knight. Still one of my favorite storylines out there. Uh, but highly recommend, if you're into sci-fi, if you're into books that have just, it, it, it's worth the value. Again, it's a three ninety nine dollars book. These are not the types that are going to break the bank. Now, the only thing that there is a withdrawal from is that the first issue was published through Kickstarter, was out in January. I don't know when issue two is coming out. I know Julius is working on it, but I can't really tell you it's going to be available March, April, May. I'm not sure when that is. And that's always a downside for a small publisher is there are larger gaps between issues. To me, that's a downside of the industry just because it's so expensive to get books out there to you. Not making the books expensive, but there is a lot of work that goes into it. So the, right, the creators need to make this choice. Do I wait until I have a ton of issues done and ready to publish? Or do I try to get my books in the hands of readers now? And 
And I think it's almost unfair for some of these small publishers. That's why I, I do try to, to push as many of them as I can. Uh, this One Iron Bandit by JB Comics, highly recommend it. I love sci-fi books. I love interesting reads. This book's got a lot going into it. One of the, my favorite scenes in the book, actually, is when you first get into seeing the main protagonist, the uh, the, the villain, if you will, of the book, a deface uh, all you see is his hand, and and immediately my, my mind went to Inspector Gadget, if you remember those cartoons from, uh, what is it, the 80s, 90s, Inspector Gadget. All you ever saw was uh, Claw's hand, and, and it was awesome. They You do get to see D-Face as his whole upper torso, if you will, uh, on the very last page, but that, that first introduction of him where it's just a hand, uh, you know the nerd in me as i, I wear um a nerd shirt uh the nerd in me uh, immediately went to inspect a gadget i love that show as a kid so i highly recommend it we we do have it on our in our store the one armed bandit great read we have i think five or six of them up right now uh being february 16 2021 great read highly recommend it if you if you don't have much to do today, try to get yourself at least one copy of this. You're not going to find it in too many comic book stores because it was a self-funded book uh, by uh, Julius Blair through Kickstarter, JB Comics. Uh, if you don't get it from me, see if you can find it somewhere else. Highly recommend the book. Go out and get it. And I will talk to you tomorrow.